What's going on, everybody? James here for AdoptionAgency.com. 21 years selling on eBay. And I'm getting several questions asked to me, concerned <clears throat> sellers, uh, about, have I heard about this shadow ban when you delist an item and relist it? So similar. And I'm like, what? What do you know? No, that's not a thing, right? I'm just like, caught me for a loop. And I'm like, huh. And then I got word that somebody who don't even sell on eBay is making a video saying that you're getting shadow banned. I didn't watch the video. Supposedly getting shadow banned if you end an item and relist the item or sell similar the item. Uh, as far as I am no, for as far as, as far as I know, even as of, of yesterday, that is not a thing. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't know what the hell somebody's talking about when they don't even sell on eBay. It's odd to me. So here's what I, about every other day, I will end and sell similar 800 to 1,000 of my items. I've got 49,000 items in my store. I have some that's been sitting two and a half, three years in my store. Now, I've been doing this for quite a while. End 800, end of that. There's even times I'll do three, 4,000 in a day, end and sell similar. Uh, the difference between ending and relisting and the ending and sell similar. When you end and relist an item, it puts it back in the same area of your store, meaning it doesn't show up as a new listing. You don't get that new listing pop, if you will. Well, I'm not 100% if you don't get that new listing pop or not but it just kind of goes back into your store. Um, I'm not even sure if it gives it a new number. I don't use Relist, I use Sell Similar. Sell Similar takes it down off the site, then gives it a new number and gives it the new heading, a heading that says new item, new listing. And you get that like new listing bump, <clears throat> like a bump. It lasts probably about 24 hours where you kind of get higher placement uh, in the search algorithm under best match. So ending and selling similar does work. There is no shadow ban. As far as I know, 95% of the text that I've talked to over the last two years, because I've called in so much, you know, with all the issues, 95% of them told me, try ending and selling similar some stuff or have made a comment in that reference about, do I do that? And I should do that. So, <clears throat> we know that, you know, not all the reps know everything, but when you have so many telling you to do it, and I've done it hundreds, if not thousands of times myself, and here, and does it work? Yes, it works. There is no shadow ban. The, I had stuff in my store that was two and a half, three years old that I had, I used to clearance down my items. So I had like hats and clothing at like $6 and $5. So when I started really ending and selling similar, I put them back up to my $14.99 prices and they sold. They've been in my store two and a half years at five and $6 for the last year, two years. I end sell similar, raise the price almost 10 bucks and it sells. I don't know what's going on out there but that is not a thing. Don't worry about it. End and sell similar works and it works for me still to this day. Um, I haven't done none as of yet today, but I kind of I kind of hold off to more toward the middle and the end of the month. I did do some two days ago, but uh, because I use web interpret and when I take them, when they come down off web interpret, they don't go back up till the first of the month. So I try to push mine off toward the middle or the end of the month. But some of them I do early in the month, the ones that's been there four plus months in my store. I try to keep all my items within three months time period. So the items that are in there now that's going on, let's see, I'm looking now, but the page is refreshing. Um, I've been ending like two days ago, it was like four months and a couple of days so I ended those and sold similar on those. Um, I didn't check to see if any sold out of that batch, but it, it, there's no shadow banning.
it's not a thing. I don't know where this person's getting the information from when they don't even sell on eBay themselves. Yeah, so I got some four months, 10 days. So I'll probably, in the next couple of days, I'll end those and sell similar on those. And you can, you can probably test it yourself. You can do an incognito window on just open another browser incognito and search for the item after you end it and sell similar. And you'll see that it's not a thing. Your items are going to be there and they're going to have pretty high placements. And so that's why I do 800 to 1,000 at a time, usually, sometimes a lot more, uh, depending on how bad of a, the eBay issues that are going on, how bad the sales are and stuff like that will depend on how much I do. Uh, today, I haven't done anything because I've been concentrating more on listing, but yeah, I don't know where that, like I said, I don't know where that information is coming from. Everybody I've ever talked to at eBay who's referenced it says to do it. And I've been doing it for who knows how long and no problems, no issues, and the stuff moves. So I just wanted to put that out there since I've had about three people reach out to me and ask me about this. And then I kind of saw the video and just hit play on it and listen to a couple of things. I'm just like, well, that don't really make sense. And I haven't watched the whole video, but because it's not worth my time. But I just wanted to put out there what I know, what I've done, and my experience. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later.